We are now in April and we played loads and loads and loads of games since we last met yesterday. After a rocky start to the season where we lost um, our first match of the Champions League, today we are seeking revenge against the same team. We are uh, receiving them home. They are from Korea, South Korea? I think it's South Korea. And we're gonna smash them. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Journeyman on Football Manager 20. We are here in China with our mighty Shenzhen FC. And since the last episode in which we won the Super Cup for 2 against Guangzhou, we had a pretty good run. Let's start from the beginning because I have a lot of a lot of things to tell you. So we started off our league campaign against Wuhan home and we won 3-0, a brace from Leao and another goal from Lucas. Then we played against the Thai team in the Champions League. We played home and we beat them 3-1. Goals from Tao, Rafael, Liao and Lucas again. Then we went to SIPG and we won 2-0. Goals from Leo and uh, Rafael and Lucas, sorry. <laughs> then we played once again against Zhuangzhou, the same team that we've beaten them in the Super Cup. Home, we won 2-0 goes from Luca and uh, Leao. Then we received Guangzhou home and we smashed them for one. Goes from Tao, a brace from Xai Wubin and Elmas. Then we went to SH Shenhua. Now, see this. Um, we, they scored immediately in the fourth minute with a penalty. Then we scored in the 22nd with Leao. Then we scored again in the 30th with Jin Huang. Then we scored in the 43rd. So we were 3-1 up again from Liao. We scored with Zhao in the 64th minute. So we were 4-1. Then they scored in the 68th, 84th and 91st. And they clinched at 4-4 draw. Then we received... No, actually we went away to Everbright. And we won 2-0, uh, brace from Juan Juan. Then in the Champions League, this is this was an epic match, guys. Um, we went to Brisbane, and look at this. We went 3-0 down. They scored in the 7th, 21st, and 30th. Then we scored Lucas in the 33rd. He scored again in the 39th. He scored again in the 78th. And then Rafael Leao scored in the 92nd minute to give us a dramatic win then we played nmg zong yu home and we're beating them for one we i believe we went down in the 17th minute yeah we went down in the 17th minute then lucas scored in the 32nd rafael scored in the 56th lucas in the 64th and also in the 86th for a second consecutive hat trick hat trick here and hat trick here then we were drawn against SZ Donggu in the first, well, fourth round of the Chinese um, Cup. And we played with a heavily rotated team. We've beaten them 6 3 away. And um, goes from Zhang, Hu, uh, Hattrick from Huan Huan, and also Hu Rui Bao. Um, it was a very strange match where we ended up having, first of all, we played with all the most of the, the reserve players. Um, later on, we ended up with the second goaler, this guy here, Abi Bakeri, playing on the right, on the right wing because um, they were so freaking tired of our, our players. So I had like, you know, we were six one. I've put in this guy the, on on the wing. He's a goalkeeper. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Then we played HB China Fortune. We went to HB China Fortune and we got our first loss of the season. We lost 3-2. We went down in the first minute with Peter Tobo. He scored Peter Tobo. Then we drew in the 46th minute, just before half time. They immediately scored in the second half in the 52nd minute. We got the draw again from Lucas in the 75th minute. They scored again in the 77th. We had no more fuel in the tank, guys. 
and we couldn't clinch at all though we had a very clear uh, an extremely good chance um in the last minute with one one um but he sent it miles away now pretty good run um lots of greens only one loss and one draw so it was one well actually you, you can see it you can count for yourself the main problem is that we are playing shitloads of games one after the other and uh, the players can't can't stay fit that's the problem i'm rotating as much as i can but uh yeah this this is this is why we lost to hb china because we, we couldn't take it anymore our players couldn't take it anymore so um having said this um we are third guys <laughs> all those greens one loss and one draw and we are still obviously we have a game in hand so e but even if we win that game in hand we'll go up to 22 points and we're still second in the beginning of the in the beginning of the season and uh, the bookies gave us second um second favorites uh, right uh, behind uh, guangzhou um yeah i mean again this is gonna be a really tight race um because we are doing excellent but see for yourself guys see for yourself that's not enough um in the uh, champions league basically we are qualified because this is um this is the last match is it the last match no this is the penultimate match but there's five points between us and brisbane roar so we are still to play yeah the the thai the 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 team from thailand home which should be a walk in the park um hopefully today we can beat um suwon so that we can um go up top and uh, win the group eventually but uh yeah so today oh in the fifth in the cup we drew guangzhou in the fifth round now the board wants us to at least achieve uh, to uh, to at least um, go to the final so i mean we need to beat guangzhou so early into this competition which will not be easy to do basically <clears throat> but uh, without further ado um actually before i uh, go to the match let's see a bit of the league stats um ex actually our two attackers are playing wonderfully um lucas scored eight goals he's topping the goal scoring table um with zhang yuning and rafael is just behind him with seven goals so we're doing 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 very very well um lots of awards lots of records broken we have broken the average attendance um for for shenzhen again we have broken the record for um uh the the most gate gate money uh, which is now is i think over 130k every time we play home well not every time we play home but that i mean we're doing very 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 well in uh in that area too so now we are playing suwon home we lost um i believe 3-1 in the first uh in the first leg well not in the first leg in the first match because this is not uh two legged match this is just home and away um the problem is our players are very tired guys i mean we are coming from we play this is gonna be the third match in six days something like that because we're playing two days off play two days off play two days off play now that even the domestic cup has started um games are coming thick and fast which is not ideal <laughs> i mean i have like tau has been requesting to rest in fact today he's not going to be in the team i'm going to rest him um i'm going to rest him for this match and i'm going to rest him for the for the next match so then he will play in the cup against guangzhou because he's been requesting uh even when i do quick pick um my my assistant manager doesn't pick him up because he's like he doesn't have it anymore in him <laughs> <coughs> actually to be fair he got injured and i thought and he spent like 11 days 12 days injured and i thought okay that would serve him as a rest but um that apparently doesn't count like staying 12 days home doing nothing can't train and stuff 
um, apparently it doesn't give you your energy back because you're injured or something like that. So um, yeah, I think that's that's something that uh, needs to be fixed basically. But anyhow, um, as usual, the match doesn't want to start, <laughs> so I have to fill in <laughs> for uh, for the time being and stuff. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, facilities. Facilities are should be done today. So um, for the next match, we would have the facilities done, completed, both training facilities and new facilities. Um, I haven't checked actually if we can if we can upgrade once again the data analysis facilities. They are now excellent. Uh, I believe there's another stage which says outstanding, but I, I, I really I'm, I'm not sure about it. So we'll we'll check after this match. Eventually the game loaded, so um, let's give them a good talk. Uh, you should have gone for revenge probably. Yeah. He went for revenge. So, yeah. Let's kick off. I don't want to talk to the press. Let's see. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Um, I would like to win this match because I would like to win the group so that we... I, I mean, if it's like the European Champions League, uh, if you win the group, obviously, you will be seeded. Um, not that usually it does does not really matter not even in europe because you still you'll be seeded and you still can you know play real madrid or barcelona or united or city or whatever so it doesn't really count but um i mean winning the group is uh, something that i would like to do <laughs> we still haven't got the coaching badge by the way um it's gonna it's taking for ages basically um Oh, I probably it was this time around last year that we that we started the coaching course. So probably um, it takes a year to complete. So we should be um, getting it very soon. I hope so that we can apply for another one. In the meantime, Leao, Leao in the box. Come on, what a header! Oh, is the bar? Come on, no. Okay. Uh, that was our first highlight. First shot on target, but we're bossing possession 56 44, uh, which is fine. But look at this, guys. Look at the. Um, not even 20 minutes in the match, and no one, everyone actually is below 90% fitness. Some of them are on their 70%, um, so it's not good. Now, come on, Leo enters the box, he shoots! He didn't find the curve he wanted to give to the ball, which is a shame. Would have been an excellent goal there. That's one of the corner. The oh, um, what else? Ah, I usually leave the. <laughs> I usually leave the the after match talk, unless I'm really like pissed off come on um to my assistant manager and um i think after we've beaten um was it Guangzhou? i think it was um apparently i didn't i i, I didn't check what he was gonna say and he said uh, there's nothing to say about it and most of players got offended and now they <laughs> they <laughs> morale is not um uh, it's not good we have our captain, Shike, who is his morale is poor. We have um, what's his face, um, who whose morale is poor. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I have to check about what he's gonna say after the matches because he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna fuck the morale. Which it's something we don't want. Come on, Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Come on. Holy crap. Oh, ah. Even match, guys. It's an even match. Probably one of the best teams in the in this competition. I haven't checked the other the other Chinese teams. How are they doing? 
there's another three. There's Guangzhou, Jinsu, and Chongping. Chong, Chongqing. Yeah, those. <laughs> um, haven't checked what they're doing though. Wang Peng gives it long to Liao. Excellent pass to Lucas. Come on, you have to score. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Zhang Shui is dying already. Yi is dying. Look at, look at. Uh, fitness gonna be a problem. Yeah, go and prove a point. Come on. Come on, go and prove a point. Demand more. Come on, let's win this. Although a draw would qualify us. Mathematically, I mean. But as I said, we'd like to win. I'd like to win. Oh my god, what was that? Come on. Fuck. <sighs> Uh, 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 we should be so. I, if I'm not mistaken, we should soon go out on a like two months break. Um, and that would be a relief, basically. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my lord, Lucas. Lucas came face to face with the keeper four times, and now he's. Obviously, he's 6.0. I can't change him because I have other players who are dying. He is dying. Let's put Shan Huan. Zhang is dying. You can put Zong. Practically the same name. Zhang Zong. <laughs> and um, who else? Yeah, let's put him. Fuck Lucas, come on. <laughs> Do one more, come on. Do we have it? Do we have enough fuel in our tank? To win this match? I actually doubt it, guys. I actually doubt it. No, that's it. End of match. A boring nil nil draw. Um, which at the end of the day qualify us, qualifies us to the latter stages of this cup. But that's not what we wanted. We wanted a win to go top. We can still win the group if um, Brisbane can hold them at least um, to a draw. But uh, yeah, give me some time. I'll be back soon with the match away to Dalian Yi Feng. So here we are for the second match of this episode. It's a match of the Super League. So it's a league game and it's against fourth of the fourth of the table, I believe. Yes, they're fourth. Just two points. Um, below us but we have a game in, in hand on them so it's very important that today we win against DL and we go up second with a game in hand so without further ado Tao is back I uh, he doesn't need a rest anymore so I'm very happy to have him in the pitch because he's one of our best players um, off camera I um, I had a look at PSPS. Now, after this match, I'll show you. Um, and um, not good news, guys. I will not tell you why. Um, I will show you after the match. If I remember, that is. <laughs> However, let's concentrate on us. Let's concentrate on DL. And let's concentrate on beating them. So, fitness seems to be goodish now. Although now, in two days' time, we have to play Guangzhou. So we're going to fuck it up again. <laughs> um, but let's let's concentrate on this match. Come on. Tao. Ooh, lovely pass to Lucas. Ah. 
Oh my god. It's so frustrating this guy. So frust he scores, but if he scores at least 50% of the chances he gets, he's like a 40 goal player in a season. Minimum. And now they are on attack and that's what an attacker does. Shoots and scores, not like our freaking Lucas. Feng Yen Song, 21 minutes into the match. Jesus, how they have Thomas Party. Thomas Party, um, who did he play with in real life? Oh my god. I think he used to play in Germany and even in England, I think. Thomas Party, yep. I had him a few saves ago, a few football managers ago. I believe it was uh, 2017 I had him. In my Bayern Leverkusen save, I believe. Yeah. Which was not on YouTube, just personal save. I didn't do YouTube back then. Actually, he's a decent player. I mean, in 2017, he was a top player. Come on. Come on, Leo. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Jesus. Jesus, he hammered it in, guys. Jesus. Okay, I'll take that. That's the one more. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. Don't tell me. No, 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 Fang, no. Okay. We owe. Shitloads to our keeper guys Just like at PSPS when we had Paco Alam saving us day in day out This keeper Yen is Oh, actually, he's not he's not even playing. Why? That's a mistake Oh, come on Leo 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 Leo. I call him Leo now. <laughs> Jesus Yen is not playing. I can't. I forgot to change him. Jesus. I forgot to change him. So this means that <laughs> even in the Champions League, he played. Gao. Oh well. It's okay. Eventually he has to start playing. Holy. This Fang guy. We need to have a good look at him. He's Chinese. Well done, son. Well done. We're down again here. And we're down to fourth place now. Five points away from top. With a game in hand. I'm going aggressive here. And attacking as well. And asks for some passion. He's playing on the wing. He's not playing as an attacker. He will probably... Oh, oh, come on. Come on, Leo. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. <sighs> corner. Can we do something from this corner? Tau. Crosses it in. They headed out. Who goes first? Who was in who the player, not who will go first. <laughs> um, another corner. For them this time, obviously. Carrasco. Tries the shot from outside the box there. Zeng loses ball. Wang Xiao Yu runs on the right. Gives it to Feng. 
You already scored two goals and holy Jesus. Come on, can we hit them on the counter here? Come on, Zhang. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely pass. Come on, give it in the middle, give it in the middle. Give it in the freaking middle. He was all alone. You dumbass. Jesus Christ. I'm going to change him, guys. I can't stand him when he does those things. Yeah, let's put this guy in. Jesus. They want more? Come on. Come on. Leo, Leo. Uh, okay. Gu Tong. He's a Chinese international. He have he has some caps for China. He's twenty one, so he's the future. Come on, come on, one one, one one, one one. Hit, Jesus. Zeng, come on, we we have to score. Come on, we're creating loads and loads of chances here. The highlight is not over though. Looks like my players are YouTube shy because they did excellently well. <laughs> and now that we are on YouTube, uh, we only come on, come on, come on. Yes, Liao, yes, come on. Come on. Excellent. Come on. Demand more. Let's go and score a third. Come on. Still plenty of time. Come on. Oh, lovely pass. Lovely pass. Zang, zang, zang. Someone for the rebound. This puts us second, guys. Four points behind top of the table. Beijing. Beijing? I think it's Beijing. With a game in hand. But we need to win this match. Come on. One last effort. Come on. Nice pass to Elmas. Elmas to Leao for the hat trick. Leao for the hat trick. No. Let's see if we can make. Yeah, we can put Salinas in. We can put Ye in. Fresh legs. Passion, come on. Last 10 minutes of the match, come on. Oh, what a pass by Tao. Come on, one one, one one. The shot get blocked, but we're still there. Oi! Oi, 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 oi. Not even a yellow card, ref? He likes, he, he, he's good with free kicks. Ah, didn't go for a direct free kick there. And passed to no one there. We just gave them back possession. Oh, oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Oh, my God. <sighs> it was offside. No, it wasn't offside. It's just signaling a substitution. Wang Yin Xian. Oh, fuck. Come on, guys. Come on. Demand more for the last four minutes. Come on. Give us a highlight game. Give us a highlight game. Give us... No. No. Highlights. Okay. Anyway. 2-2. Two, two. Probably it's a fair result. Because they had their chances too. Um, Jeez. 
two draws in this episode, guys. <laughs> two draws. Okay, so, ah, PSPS, yeah. I'll show you PSPS in a second. First of all, um, I was waiting for you guys to do this. Let's see if they accept to improve the facilities again. We feel the current facility is good enough for the river club. We are, come on. Yes, they are persuaded. So now youth facilities. We agree. Yay. Excellent. Excellent. We cannot tell them um, for the data analysis facilities. That means probably we're, we're, we're like at the best level there is. Now, <laughs> I was, and this probably would take uh, a few seconds to load because I don't know why. Whenever I press profile, it takes a bit to load. Okay. So, I was looking at, I was just curious, you know, and um, I had a look at relationships and I was like, okay, let me see who am I close with. I mean, past players, you know, managers and whatever. So, we are very close to Fiwi, obviously. Then I clicked on Fiwi and he's available on free transfer, valued at zero. He's not with PSPS anymore. So I went on history. We are in 2024 now, right? Um, he played. He's not playing anymore. He last played in 2023. The league is about to start, I believe, in, in, in Indonesia. And last season, he only played 15 matches and scored two goals. And this the PSPS came in 10th last season 11th so yeah this is, that's not the only thing though so no Fiwi no Rinaldi no club that's number two Hamisi is now at Persibaya so they lost Hamisi as well Miranda is now at Persib they lost Miranda as well Adrianas is now at Persiba, so they lost him as well. So that's five. Azar, the youngster Azar, is now at PSS, so they lost him. Paku Alam is still there, okay. Kuznetsen, the youngster, remember Super Sub, he used to come in and score. He has no team at all. So they lost, basically. Most of our guys, most of the guys that we brought in, they lost Akbar to Bali. They lost Ed to PSM, guys. They haven't retained one freaking single player that we had, which is uh, Jwahari is now at Persibaya. Hardian ha yeah, Hardianto is now at Medanjaya. They Irianto, the young... Oh, yeah, Irianto's still there, okay. I mean, Matos is still there. Jesus Christ, they just dismantled the whole team. They just dismantled the whole freaking team. So, planned training facilities. They will cost 1.7 million. They will be ready by 3rd of April in 2025. So, basically, just below one year. Planned youth facilities, they will be ready as well on the 3rd of April 2025 and they will cost 1.9 mil. Now, as for the schedule of when we are coming back, um, we come back uh, in the first match after the, after the break. So, uh, we'll come back for Guizhou and Tianjin. Until then, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did so, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Jerry D and until next time, bye-bye.